um, I have a pretty big manga haul. It is May 19th, so mid-May. I have a lot of Amazon packages that have come from like series that I'm reading and I'm continuing to buy. I also have a lot, of, a couple of things from Target and um, the bookstore that I go to all the time. Um, I picked up like 10 things from there, so uh, let's get started. I have a lot to open. Um, all of these packages at the start are things that I'm already reading and I haven't opened them, so and it's been a while since I've read some of them, so we'll see. Oh, this one feels like it has gross stuff, like sticky stuff on the cover. Oh, here is Ghostly Thing Volume 3. Volume 2 is a lot better than Volume 1 was. I really liked it. Um, this is the last one in the series. It's like a pretty short series, but it's really cute and I love the covers. Um, pretty cute story. It's a supernatural, like, yokai type story, but I'm really not happy. Like, it's. I think it's impossible to see, but the cover has like gunky sticker nasties on it, and I bought this new, so I don't know what's up with that Amazon, but this doesn't feel new. So, like, gunky sticker nasties. Uh, next one is another series that I'm. Oh, there's two in this one. Um. Oh! Dead Man Wonderland. Volume 3. I really liked Volume 2 more than I liked Volume 1, so hopefully it stays good, but I really like the covers with- they look really nice on the shelf. They go black and white. Um, just these. Oh gosh. Why do I always have to see when I'm recording? Uh, ghostly things. And... Origami. Volume 5. I have loved the Origami. I'm still like way behind where the anime is. This cover is beautiful. And really, really good. Um, my stack of stuff opened is like this tall. Kaizen Volume 4. Wow, I ordered this a long time ago. Um, it looks like he's holding a cute. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he is. I haven't read this one yet, but I, I, I feel like I'm only, only on number 4. Like, it's not, so far it's not my favorite, um, but I've enjoyed it enough to keep reading, so. in this one. Just fell all the way off the edge. Uh, Bungo Stray Dogs. Volume 6. I really have enjoyed Bungo Stray Dogs and I feel like it's gotten better as it's gone along. So hopefully this one's still good. Uh, volume 5 of the Big Study of Anitas. These are like the most beautiful covers. They're so pretty. Um, I really love this story. I think there's only 9 out right now, so I don't want to be caught up. Um, but I feel like I'm getting there. I think I also got number 6. I don't know. Oh, three. Oh, all right. First one is Rented Girlfriend, volume seven. I finished that six volume box set, so there's not another box set, so I'm buying the individual, but I've enjoyed it. Rented Girlfriend, volume seven. Uh, Dr. Stone, volume 5. I just got all caught up on season 3 of the anime where they're sailing to the new world on their boat, but 
this feels like a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. So I'll slowly get there. And which hat? Uh, we are volume three. This is my favorite cover so far. Um, the art in this series is really, really good. It doesn't even feel like on the same level of, of some other things, but yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, I think I'll just put it over there. I have a pretty big box, I'll save that one for last. It's not big, I think it just has like, one big box in it. Um, two things in here. Uh, I have The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 2. This story is mostly told through pictures, and it's told so well. I really like wasn't certain if I was going to like it or not, and it, so I didn't buy the like nice, the nice big edition of it. But it's really, it's been really good so far. It really does feel like my different world. But yeah, here's volume two. It's small and thin for the price, which is that, but it's good. Uh, Yona of the Dawn, Volume 4, slowly working my way through this one. Since I've watched the whole anime, I feel like this is going to take me a while. I'm just reading them at a leisurely pace. Um, my last, the uh, Amazon, besides my other box. This one in here. Oh! Um, this is Phantom Tales of the Night. Volume 2. Volume 1 was kind of disturbing to read. Um, it's definitely like body horror, like gore. That's not usually my thing, but I was interested enough in the stories to really appreciate it. So I'm going to try this volume. Um, I did get a little squeamish while reading the first volume, so hopefully this one. I don't know. I hope it's more of the same, but I also don't, you know? So, yeah. But it's really cool. Um, this box right here. Oh, this is just one volume. It's a hardcover. And here it is. Summer time rendering volume three. Yeah, volume three. I'm really interested to see if, how this continues to go. Volume two was so good. Um, I don't know if it was worth it to get the hardcover edition, but they're so pretty. So I just had to. So. Volume three. All right. Um, things that I got while out shopping. Three things that I got from Target. Uh, first two, so leveling volume one. This is so expensive, like everywhere. So they had it at Target, and it's a cheaper price than a lot of places. So it feels really nice and heavy. We'll see how this is. Um. Toilet Bound Hanako Kun Volume 4. I feel like I have this volume already. Um, <laughs> I feel like I already have Volume 4. I'm not sure. I have a spreadsheet where I keep track of all of them, but I like didn't check it when I bought this volume. So I feel like I have two Volume 4s now, but. Yeah. Volume 4. Um, Chainsaw Man Volume 7. Like I said, Chainsaw Man is one of my favorite books that I've read. Like, it's been really good. So, there's the next one. And this bag. There is four things in here. Oh my goodness, this one is expensive. These have their prices on because I haven't went through them yet. This is Orochi, Volume 1. I don't know what to expect, but it looks really beautiful. It's really expensive. 
Yep. Um, crazy food truck, volume three. I think there's only three out right now, so not all of them. It's so pretty. Um, Sakamoto days. Volume two. I have to like go and peel all these stickers off. And Chainsaw Man, Volume 8. Chainsaw Man only goes to 11, so, right? Right now? For part 1? I don't know. But, yeah. And a little bit more. I thought I was saying good when I bought all of these. I bought six volumes and it was like 80 or 70 dollars and I thought for sure I was being really good and I totally wasn't because it was really expensive. Um, these are some new things and some old but I got Mob Psycho Regan. I don't know if when you're what order you're supposed to read this so I decided to read in but uh, they had it there and I was I think I'm only on volume three, but I wanted to read it, so I got it. Um, I got the case study of Anitas. I did get another one. Volume six. This cover is super nice. Love it. Sad that I am getting caught up. The art is so pretty. Um, cells at work. The volume one. I think that they're just cells, I think, but I um, thought it would be interesting to give this a try, so I mean, I'm interested in how people get sick. Um, it says they're red blood cells, I think. Yeah, so talking about how they tackle allergies, different allergies. Um, I got To Your Eternity, Volume 4. I haven't read Volume 2 yet, but they had this one and it was like picked it up. I don't really like this cover, although I haven't read it yet. Um, a Sign of Affection, Volume 1. I put this back from my Right Stuff order, like, Time so I finally decided to get it. It looks super cute. Yeah, can I get this one? Go, let's see how it is. And then, same one, I picked up another volume. Blood on the tracks. I see so many people talking about this, but I really like I almost put this back so many times. I was just, I don't know very much about it. Um, it looks interesting, but also, like, I'm not sure what it's going to be about, so we'll see, but, yeah. Um, there is, there is everything. And. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, I thought that this was going to be a tiny amount, but it's not I don't know how much how many like probably like 20 or 30 volumes again but thanks for watching this mid May manga haul um if you have any suggestions for me let me know um or if you've read any of these I do still have some new things that I've never read before so let me know what you think um thanks for watching bye